Alright, so I got a bunch of these um, laptop power supplies. They're um, still good, but a lot of times people pile these up after breaking the cable off the side or whatever the case. If you know who to talk to, you can get your hands on these for free. Um, you can buy them on eBay in lots. You can talk to people who refurbish laptops. They'll have a pile of these. But anyway, basically I got these for free. And what I want to do is make uh, an electric bike high voltage charger. And now these are rated to um, 20 volts, 3.5 amps, which in this case is like 65 watts. So if I put four or five of these in series with an adjustable power supply, I can fine tune my end voltage and charge my trike. Problem though is that these all have the type of wire that have the, uh, the braided kind of cable and you really can't solder to that stuff. Um, also, difficult to work with because it's exposed, you can't shield it properly. So I want to get rid of this and I want to solder directly to the chargers, um, to the circuit boards on the back. And getting them open is not such an easy task. These are sealed. It's a radio wave type machine. They put them in a thing and it seals the two halves together. And they're not meant to be serviced or taken apart. Um, I've tried with a blade knife and if you tediously take your time and run through the crack a whole bunch of times, eventually you can work your way around and you, it takes forever. Um, I've seen videos on YouTube where people take a hammer and a screwdriver and they jam it in there and hammer away at it. It's a circuit board. If you hit it with a hammer, it, if it didn't, you know, if it worked before, it probably won't work after. If you're trying to salvage a component off the board, maybe, but the whole unit, you don't really want to hit it with a hammer. So now that I've opened one up and I know that there's no sensitive components anywhere around here, I can safely take this with the Dremel, and I probably won't hurt the unit. So this is how I come up with as a way of getting them open, using a Dremel with a cutting disc. Now the cutting disc leaves a pretty wide gap. Um, you can just take a blade knife, clean the slag off the edge. Like that. And now with a screwdriver, because now I have a gap, um, I can get in there, pop that open. That and with a little bit of convincing. There we go. And now I got an actual positive and negative wire here. I'm going to cut it short and I can solder to these leads without even having to solder to the um, circuit board. And that's how you get into a non serviceable power supply.